All right, this is 333 Crypto. We're going to chat about Zen, X-E-N, Zen Crypto. Now, if you are new to my channel, then you might not be familiar with Zen, um, but I have made multiple videos on Zen previously, so if you would like, you could check those out at your convenience. And in my opinion, Zen is probably one of the most undervalued cryptocurrencies on the market. In fact, if you look here, this has a market cap of $5 million, $5 million. Now I'm going to show you, okay, so stick around for the whole video. I'm going to show you why this is a ridiculously cheap valuation. And if you look at token ranking right here, we're ranked at 1166 in all of crypto. Okay. And what does that mean? Well, it means if you were to go right here, right, click up here and go to the top and start looking at all the cryptocurrency that's out there, that we are way down low on this list. In fact, we're so low, it's just downright crazy um, that it's that low. Now, it's not unrealistic when you consider that the protocol is not even a month old. Okay. But I tell you, I've been around crypto a long time. I've been around DeFi. We've called some of the greatest um, uh, protocols in the past. In fact, if you go right here in this top 100, we were following Polkadot when it came out for you know dollars. We were following Lido when it came out. We followed SHIB when it came out. We followed Avalanche when it came out. We were there for Uniswap when they gave out free tokens. Uh, we, uh, I have followed Chainlink uh, for quite some time. We were around when multiple of these new tokens, ApeCoin, I told you, would be a, a legit protocol, a legit token when it came out. I said it would be in the top 50, and here we are. And you can go down here. We've been with Ave Lend. You get what where I'm going with this, right? We, we've done this before, okay? We're not new to this on my channel. And we like to find gems early. Um, and how do you find a gem early? Well, you got to find great protocols, okay? But you also have to understand the teams behind them. And I think Jack Levin and the people behind XEN are brilliant. In fact, I would say that, you know, Jack is probably one of the smartest people I've seen in crypto uh, for quite some time. Now, I've found some good ones, you know, and we can go down the list there. But nonetheless, I think Jack is up there uh, in the top five for sure. And we're going to see uh, how his protocol, when well, actually our protocol, this is the people's protocol, we're going to see where Zen goes and then we're going to know, you know, is this legitimate? Is it real? Is it as good as we think it is? And today we're going to compare it to Doge, D-O-G-E. Um, I like Doge. I think Doge is a great token and it made some people very, very rich. Um, but we're going to chat about that. If you look here, Dogecoin is certainly currently ranked number eight. And let me just slide over my Zen here. Um, Zen, again, is at 1161. Now, this will change as the video is going on because things are always changing in crypto. But you get my point here, right? Doge is ranked number eight. Zen is ranked at 1,160. So we have some upside here, right? And you can look at the numbers to see what that upside is because with a market cap of 5 million, Doge has a market cap of 15 billion. Now, if we could get to Doge's market cap, we're going to come to that later in the video. Just imagine the returns you can get with Zen. Now, why do I think that Zen has the potential uh, of Doge? Well, I think it has more potential, quite frankly, because Zen was a fair launch. And what that means is everyone who was involved with Zen early did well. But people can continue to do, do well by getting involved with Zen. And they can do that by simply coming here to the Zen dashboard, right? And that Zen dashboard is linked right here at Zen.network. They can come here and they can mint free Zen. Now, what does that mean? Well, I can come here and if I have a little Ethereum in my wallet, I use a MetaMask wallet personally, um, but there are multiple wallets you can use. I can mint free Zen. And today, um, the longest term you can do that for is for 416 days. Now, if you go right here, this is the Zen Mint Monitor. And this is uh, made by CryptoCell. These guys are good. Thank you for doing what you do. This will tell me today just what that will yield for me in the future. And this is where you need to pay close attention, okay? And then we're going to come back to Doge. If you look right here, 
if I were to mint for 400 days right here, in fact, um, 400 days, I'm going to go out as far as I can here. We're going to go out to, it's at 405, 408, 412, 450. Let's go 416. If I mint for 416 days, which means I use my MetaMask wallet, I spend a little Ethereum, it would cost me $6.02 according to the mint cost monitor right here. This means that in 410 days, I could pick up my Zen or I could claim it, okay? And I that would be worth $604. Okay. Now pay close attention to this because I have a video coming later this week and that I'm going to share a strategy that I think is the key strategy for making um, great gains with Zen. Now, remember, everything I say is hypothetical. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who makes videos for entertainment only. So don't make any financial decisions based upon anything I say. But I got a video coming out later this week that is a strategy for um, not only buying Zen, but for minting Zen that I think is a perfect and almost flawless strategy. But I'm going to make that video a little later this week. So hit the like button, uh, get the bell to set my alerts, and of course, subscribe to my channel. So basically, if I go ahead today and I mint Zen for a term of 416 days, that'll cost me about $5, $6, 5 to $6. Look, claim costs $3.33. There's the universe smiling at us again. I didn't make that happen, folks. You can see it right there, $3.33 to claim it. So for a total cost of $10 in 416 days, I could hypothetically pick up Zen that is worth $605. Now that is based upon today's current Zen price. And I personally think Zen is undervalued. So imagine if Zen does a 10X from here, or imagine if Zen does a 100X from here, when I pick that token up in the future, if it does a 10x, it's worth $6,000. And if it does a 100x, it will be worth $60,000. Now, why do I think it could go up in value like that? Well, because it is being used by more and more people. This is called a network effect, right? Google did it. Many great companies have done it. But what a network effect is, is if Zen can get into many wallets because it is free, in time, it will gain value and it will gain value because people will use it to buy and sell things throughout the cryptoverse. And that is why it will gain value. And when it gains value, people will use it in DeFi protocols. They will use it to buy and sell things and they will do with Zen just as they have done with Doge. Now, I like Doge and why might Doge have value? Well, if you look, Elon now owns Twitter and Elon likes Doge and there is some suggestion that Twitter could use Doge to buy and sell on their platform. And if that's the case, then Doge will go up in value from here, most likely. And again, it's all hypothetical madness. It's not investment advice, but that could happen. Okay. So that is a use case for Doge, right? And that is why Doge has value is because people believe it will be used for certain things, possibly for Twitter or whatever else. Now, imagine if Twitter decided to use Zen or imagine if, you know, some other big, um, you know, an Amazon. Now, I'm not saying an Amazon would do that, but let's just say DeFi protocols. Let's say I can swap my Zen, uh, you know, for Ethereum uh, down the road, which I can do that already. But let's just say my Zen increases in value and it gives me more buying power for Ethereum or more buying power for Bitcoin. Zen will continue to be adopted by people because it has a use case. But the greatest use case for Zen will be the fact that everybody on multiple chains has Zen in their wallet. And if you have a protocol, right, or you have a website that is buying and selling things, if you want to attract customers, you're just going to use Zen as a means of exchange on your protocol because you will get tens of millions of customers if tens of millions of people mint free Zen and keep it in their wallet. Okay. Now, I know this is quite complex. So you're going to have to follow me closely, but that is where Zen gets its value. It gets its value the same way Bitcoin did, okay? Bitcoin was able to get its value over time by slowly being used for things, right? I remember, you remember, we've all heard stories about when people were buying pizzas with Bitcoin and then pizzas led to bigger things like bikes and then bikes led to cars and then cars led to bigger things and now for $20,000 or one Bitcoin, you could buy a boat. Um, and for, you know, 
30 Bitcoin, you might be able to buy a home. And that is because people saw that there was value in Bitcoin and they realized that it could be used as a unit of exchange. And that is exactly what Zen is trying to do. Now, people will tell you, but Zen, Zen, it's free. Tons of people are going to get it because of that. It's going to, you know, it's deflationary. And that is true, but it's not true. Because that's assuming that everybody that gets Zen is going to sell it immediately on the open market. And I do not think that is what is going to happen. In fact, if you are listening to this channel, okay, and again, it's not financial advice, but if I'm a teaching channel, I have to talk to you about what I think is the best strategy. I personally think the best strategy with Zen is to buy Zen and hold it or to mint Zen, okay, and hold it. Or to mint Zen and claim it, and then mint Zen and stake it. Okay, that is what I personally think is the best strategy. What? What? So basically, how would you sum that strategy up? Don't sell your Zen. Be patient. Wait for it to gain value. Wait for it to get into every wallet all around the planet. Right? We just today announced, and welcome to all our Filipinos that are uh, big Zen fans. They just. Uh, you know, made their site such that folks can see it in Tagalog. You know, a lot of people in the Philippines speak English well, so they were probably fine. But now if they want to interact on, you know, with the Zen protocol using Tagalog, which is their native language, they can do that also. And we're going to see Zen get adopted in Asia. We're going to see Zen get adopted in South and Central America. We're going to see Zen get adopted in the Middle East because it's free. Okay. And I would encourage anyone that's listening to this, especially if you're in a country um, where um, things might be a little difficult or life might be a little harder, get yourself a phone, figure out a way to get a little Ethereum and mint as much free Zen as you can and hold it for as long as you can. So in the future, when you collect it, it might be worth $605 or if it 10 X is 6,000 or if it 100 X is 60. And I think it is possible. And why do I say that? Well, because Doge did just that. Look at Doge's history, people. Go to Max here. Doge was worth nothing, 0. 0.0005 in December of 13. Okay. It was actually created as a joke initially. Okay. And for many years, it was worth nothing. But all this time, crypto wasn't doing anything, right? Nobody really started getting into crypto until about 2017. And then you started to see some general adoption of things. And then Doge, out of nowhere, in 2021, not long ago, 2021, mooned. And it mooned to an all-time high, uh, which was quite remarkable, of 73 cents. And now it is at 11 cents. But Doge could have a use case. I promise you, Zen will have its use case and Zen will travel a similar path. It will not take Zen as long to get adopted. The reason this took many years is because crypto wasn't mainstream yet. The whole point of Zen is to bring crypto mainstream, right? That's the goal of Jack Levin. Jack Levin brought this token to us having zero value. It was worthless. It is worthless, right? The minute it was brought to uh, the world, it was, it was it's worthless. But we have given it worth by minting it, right? The, the gas costs we pay to mint it, give it worth, and we have given it worth by just, you know, paying what we pay for it when we buy it on the open market. Now, my strategy, and I'm going to share that with you later this week, um, is brilliant. And I think you're going to enjoy it. But I have figured out a safe strategy where one can buy Zen and one can mint Zen and hypothetically do real well, real well over the next couple of years. So Zen, is it is it a protocol that people are using or is it just this some pump and dump? Well, let's go look here on Ethereum. And you can see that Ethereum continues the number one burner, or not number one burner, but one of the top repeated burners of Ethereum um, is Zen. And here we are looking at Zen right here. It's in the top five, top 10, okay? Uniswap, ETH transfers doesn't count. OpenSea, Tether, Uniswap, and Zen, okay? So Zen continues to burn. Zen is going to be coming out on OpenSea with NFTs in the next few weeks. That's going to cause more PR, more people are going to pay attention to Zen and get involved, and that's going to cause more crypto to burn, more ETH to burn, I'm sorry. Um, and that is going to get more people involved with Zen. And the more involvement, the better. The more involvement, hypothetically, if there's more involvement and do more demand and more people hold on to their tokens, the price should continue to go up. So that is the future I see for Zen. And I do believe Zen can do what Doge did. And this is what's going to blow your mind. 
this market cap right here of Doge, and, and this is all hypothetical for sure, but it has a $15 billion market cap, okay? Zen has a $5 million market cap. Now, we're going to do the math on this and see what how many what would the multiple be if you take 15 billion right right here you got to look 15 billion actually 16 billion divided by 6 million let's no i'm sorry 5 million let's go 16 billion divided by 5 million so you take 16 right and nine zeros one two three four five six seven eight nine divided by 5 million that's six zeros three four five six that would give us a multiple of 3200 3,200 people. So to get to the valuation of Doge currently, you would have to take the Zen price of 0. 0.00001 and times that by 3,200. And that would give you the price of Zen. That would give you the price of Zen if it were equal to, to the price of Doge. So let's do that times um, 0. 0.00001. Uh, let's get that perfect one nine, one nine. Okay, sorry, one nine. So that would give each Zen a price of six cents, six cents, people. So that's pretty impressive. If this were six cents and you removed all these zeros, your investment, your investment would be very, very significant. In fact, let's do that real quick too. If you took a thousand dollar investment, okay, and you timed it, let's go back here again. If you took 16 billion divided by 5 million, you would get 3,200. And if you took $1,000, if you took $1,000 and invested it in Zen, that $30,000 would become this much. This is crazy, people. If it becomes the same value as Doge, that's $1,000 would become 3.2 million dollars so the question you have to ask yourself is do you think zen can become a doge do you think zen can become bigger than doge do you think zen could become one of the top five tokens or one of the top you know it could it be more valuable than xrp in the future i don't know i don't know but i can tell you this it has a lot of upside okay it's going to continue to print tokens, but I don't think everybody's going to sell the tokens off. Okay. I think smart people are holding the tokens or they're staking the tokens. That's the best path in my opinion. So I do know that Zen will double from here or triple from here or quadruple from here or 10x from here, hypothetically. I'm fairly comfortable saying that or I wouldn't say it. So I do believe there's a big upside to Zen and I do believe there's a benefit to buying it. And I do believe there's a benefit to basically minting it claiming it and staking it. I think if you do those two things and you hold on and you're patient and you wait one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, whatever, you will get a massive return on your money. Just ask the Bitcoin holders who got Bitcoin at $100 and held on, right? It's possible. Just ask the Doge holders that got Doge, you know, for pennies and held on. Shiba Inu, right? We can go down the list. This one's special. That's why I keep making videos about it. I'm going to make a video and talk more about this uh, Zen monitor here. Um, I've got a great video coming out on the way I think is best to invest in Zen. That'll be out later this week. So again, hit the like button, follow me, subscribe to my channel. Be sure you don't miss anything because we are all in on Zen. God bless. Have a good day. Thanks for listening and know that I appreciate you.